Hey everyone and welcome back to another World of Warcraft Legion video. Today I'm here on the patch 7.1 PTR. You might notice the camera's a little bit different and uh, you might remember that the action cam was removed from the live game uh, when it actually hit the pre-patch and a lot of people thought that wasn't the best idea but Blizzard had some pretty reasonable concerns. So just as another quick thing, you've probably noticed that uh, I'm here Basically, I plan to be streaming within the next two weeks, so I'm just getting my camera set up, worked out. Instead of doing a webcam, I'm using my GH4 and a capture card so I can get, like, raw 4K footage with a really nice camera to use instead of a webcam, so I'm kind of excited about that. But whether this will make it into any YouTube videos, uh, that is really something I haven't decided yet. You know, I, I think that maybe for a gameplay video like this, it makes sense. But for a wider discussion video, I'm not particularly sure if having a face cam there actually serves any purpose. But maybe for the gameplay, it does. Anyway, we'll see how it goes, but let's just get into the video. Basically, the action cam was turning on when it wasn't supposed to, and there was no intuitive way to turn it off. So a lot of people were basically like, why the hell is my camera strange? Um, you know, this is uh, giving me motion sickness or something like that. So I'm here in the PTR and it has been re-enabled. It's a little bit different though. Every time you log in, it will default to being disabled. And whenever you turn it on, you get a pop-up saying that this is an experimental feature that may cause some discomfort for users. Now then, it's here. And uh, I actually want to talk a little bit about it for a few different aspects. The first one though, is raiding. Now, a lot of people have seen the action cam showed off something like this. So I turn it on to full. And I've just got some macros made here. I turn it on to full and, you know, I zoom in. I try to be like, oh, look how cinematic it is, right? Wow. And yeah, sure, that does look really cool if you're watching a video. But if you're playing and, you know, you're running around the place, you know, shit's crazy. You're changing targets and the camera's doing its auto follow. And, oh, you begin to think like, wow, this is actually something that could be really sickening. Obviously not a particularly good thing. However, this is just it with every single feature turned on. It's actually composed of a whole bunch of different features, which with add-ons such as MP Stark's brilliant dynamic cam, we can sort of toggle on and off as we choose. And there's one thing that I really do like. So I'm going to just turn the camera on to basic right now. Okay, no, I'm not. My, oh wait, no, I'm gonna turn it on to off. There we go. So with off, you can see that the way that the camera is basically it is centered in the middle of my character and it's really far back. Now, if I switch this to full, you can see that the camera is, you know, it's it's not move, it's kind of like moving back on a whatever, like, I don't know, it's it's moving back on kind of like a different pivot, you know, different axis, it's a little bit more dynamic. It's just, it's not like a first person shooter camera that is zoomed out behind your first person shooter character. Now, what, what does this do? Well, imagine this tree is a boss. And by the way, I would be filming this on, you know, current content, but I had to make a new account for the PTR because it's broken on my current account. Awesome. Not awesome at all. But imagine this tree is a boss. Okay, so let's just turn the action cam off. And I'm sort of here, you know, I'm staring at its feet. Let's turn the action cam on. I can see a little bit more vertically of the boss. And I think this is something that will be very nice for tanks and melee DPS players who want to have a little bit of a better view of the fight. Now, what you will be able to do is turn the action cam on and then using an add-on like Dynamic Cam, turn off all the features you don't want. So let's just turn on to full here. All this camera sway stuff, you don't want that. So you can turn it off and be left pretty much with your camera centered, if you want, centered around your character like this but with the zoom functionality of the action cam. So you can actually use this to sort of tailor make the camera to what you want to do. So for the raiders out there, I think this will be very handy. I think if you're doing PVP, this is also a viewpoint that allows you to better see the world, which I again think is a, is a pretty good thing. Now I mainly think that this is a nice benefit for the melee characters. And the reason why I think that's because it just doesn't work as well with the ranged animations, especially say like a hunter, because they really are a bit lackluster. Now, another cool thing about this, I'm just going to go and find one of the guards here. Now, if you think about it, if the camera's like this, then anything that's directly in front of your player character is, uh, it's going to be obscured by your character's torso. Now, if we turn the action cam on, I'll just turn it on to full. You can see that because it moves over to the side a little bit, you can actually see a little bit more of the thing that's directly in front of you. So benefit number one, it's a more cinematic perspective. There's a bit more depth around things, more depth to your armor, more depth to the enemy because of the way that the shot's actually framed. But what it also means is you can see whatever is in front of you a little bit more clearly. Now I'm not saying this is the, you know, a big thing that'll turn you into an MLG pro who just sees everything. But for some people, being able to change the sort of axis 
uh, you know, on the x-axis where the camera by default kind of sits around the place, well, for some people that'll be a really, really nice feature. Another thing the action cam does, if I just turn it on to full here, uh, if I do this, uh, you can actually see that it will tie into my character's motion. So you can see I'm, you know, sitting up, sitting down, and the camera is actually moving in line with that. It will also move in line with my swings. I think that does have the effect of making, you know, your actual attacks feel a little bit more punchy, a little bit more dynamic. A bit like, um, okay, well, probably not with, like, say, some of the Hong Kong action cinema, but if you think of maybe a Greengrass movie, the way the camera is almost a participant in the fight, and, say, in a Bourne movie, you know, that makes the, uh, sometimes makes the punches feel a little bit more... Uh, kinetic well you have a similar effect here and you know this is it's sort of doing something a bit more you know god of war ish right with world of warcraft and that's not really what everybody wants uh, but it might be nice for some people i think god of war is actually a pretty bad uh, a bad example maybe something like rise is it called rise son of rome game that looked really cool had really cool animations not a very fun game by all accounts but uh, you know you kind of get uh, with the action cam a perspective that's a little bit more uh, a little bit more action, a little bit more, you know, depth, a bit more dynamic, a bit more punchy. Certainly for people who are making Machinima videos, for people who are making YouTube videos, it's a tool that we can use that's in our repertoire. Now that doesn't mean that for every video I'm going to turn the action cam on full, I'll be jumping around the place, heroic leaping with the camera swinging everywhere like a madman, but what it does mean is that I could, you know, have some cinematic footage like this as a bit of my b-roll, maybe if I want to illustrate a point. It gives me more options as somebody who is trying to, you know, capture a good frame inside the World of Warcraft, which is a pretty good thing. I'm going to quickly swap over to a Hunter here, just to show you what it's like on a ranged character. Alright, so here we are on the Hunter. You can see that there's this little message here. You've enabled one or more experimental camera features, which may contribute to some discomfort, so you can either accept or disable those features. I'm just going to hit accept though. Another thing you'll notice is a bit of head bob going on when I have it on full. Now, you know, maybe if you are taking a little sort of cinematic shot, that looks cool. I don't think it's the best thing for gameplay though, head bob. I mean, it really can make you feel a bit queasy. Now, looking at the hunter, you you will see kind of that you, it just doesn't benefit. Like, it does look cool. I think it is a frame that's a bit nicer. If World of Warcraft was a movie, I think, yeah, it's more cinematic more pleasurable to look at, but not necessarily the best thing for a hunter to play with, especially when you start trying to target around multiple targets and you find the action cams kind of moving like this. I'm just going to quickly throw up the macro frame, bring in my basic one. So action cam basic is the setting that I would normally have been playing with on the beta. Now what I like about basic is I think this is a more cinematic way to frame the camera and I, I just find this to be quite comfortable to play with. And I also like the new zoom functionality. But what it does mean is that I don't have that weird kind of like camera auto look. While that does have its place sometimes, I just don't think it's the nicest thing ever. Maybe if we were doing a version of World of Warcraft with console port and a few other add-ons to kind of do a, a full-on console version of World of Warcraft, maybe doing that with a hunter so it would feel really cool, really meaty, then maybe camera features like that would have a place, especially with the new targeting feature that I showed in a video like two weeks ago. Uh, but for something like a hunter, that just feels so queasy when the camera is just moving around the place uh, on you. That's not particularly cool. But this is what it looks like on a hunter. Uh, you know, it's like I'm, I'm sitting here. I've got one button. So, you know, we're, we're if you can do this starting area, you're almost raid ready as BM. Let's be honest. And that, this is kind of what it looks like on, on BM. So, yeah, it's OK. I will hop over onto a mage, though, and show you what it's like in that. Alright, so for a final look at this feature on the mage, uh, I'm just going to do a frostbolt, and by the way, you've all been frostbolting wrong for all of these years. Um, a lot of people, myself included, have recommended doing this thing called key binding. Well, actually, the official Blizzard recommendation uh, is to left click. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, this is how we should be playing World of Warcraft now. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll, look, I'll, I'll message preach. I'll get him to update all his videos, um, but hey, this is the word from Blizzard, the word from Irvine. That's what they want us to do, but anyway, as you can see, is the action cam the most uh, awesome looking thing on a character like this? You know, doing ranged attacks? Not really. Kind of the same point I was trying to prove with the Hunter, but I mean, some of the Hunter abilities. As a Hunter, I say this, they're so bad that, uh, you know, there's no saving them anyway, but yeah, I mean, this looks kind of cool, but hey, I think this is... I've covered it in a melee character, I've covered it on a hunter, covered it on um, on a spellcaster. That's pretty much how the action cam will look. 
you know, you can put it to the full preset, you can put it to the basic preset, which is what I would personally use, or you can get an add-on like MP Stark's action uh, dynamic cam, and you can tweak all of those variables to get the specific camera setup that suits the way that you want to play. So if you're a raider, you can benefit from this really awesome zooming functionality and the different behavior there without having any of the more cinematic things that might not be the most uh, efficient way to have the game be for a rating perspective. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.